Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another episode of Madden Rebuilds. Today, as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the, the Indianapolis Colts, who recently picked up Phillip Rivers in free agency, but I don't think we're going to use him because he's like 37 or 38 years old, and superstar development won't be enough to hold him back from regression. I think he's an 88 overall, but I don't think he's going to be here long for the rebuild. Like Drew Brees with the Saints, he regresses too fast, even though he's an X-Factor. Though, anyways, let's start this rebuild. Now, to start off, as you can see, Philip Rivers is our leader. But, um, yeah, like I said before, 37 years old, 15 years experience, pocket lead as a superstar development, and lofting Deadeye. But we're not going to use him. And Jacoby Brissett is like a Madden Sim God, but I don't think we're going to use him either. Even though, yeah, he is a Madden Sim God, but I just, I just don't want him. And we have Michael Pittman Jr., who is a rookie. I don't think I'm going to give him a development upgrade, though. And we have Paris Campbell here, who I believe is extremely fast. 94 speed, yeah. I'm, I think he ran like a 4.38 last year at the Combine. So overall, pretty good. And this O-line is great, except for the right guard. Quentin Nelson here, probably the best guard in the NFL. Polar Elite, great superstar um, ability. And Jack Doyle here, along with other depth tight ends. And D-line, they just picked up DeForest Buckner from the Niners for a first-round pick. And they got Xavier Rhodes, who are, we are going to trade because he takes up cap, and he's just pretty old. Rocky Asin here is going to be moved to free safety. Then I'm going to move Malik Hooker over to strong safety, just so that way we have more in the way of not depth, but like versatility. If that makes sense, Rocky Sin is at second string free safety. Now I got to move, move Malik Hooker over. And while I'm moving Malik Hooker over to uh, strong safety, I just want to thank you guys for all the support on the series. I just hit 100 views on my, I think, Chargers video with Justin Herbert. So that's pretty big to me. But other than that, this is what special teams look like. Kicker definitely needs to be upgraded, even though he is a rookie. And specialist... Is there anything I want to adjust here? Sub linebacker. I don't know why Rocky Sin is a sub linebacker. I guess he's big enough to play sub linebacker. But other than that, it is time to get into some trades. For the first trade, we have Justin Houston, Phillip Rivers, and a third for a first and a first from the Bengals. Again, these guys are old. Take up cap. We just don't need them. They're going to regress pretty hard. So for the next trade, we have Jack Doyle. And Kenny Moore, I believe it is, for a first, a first, and a fourth from the Falcons. Again, more cap room situations. We have a defensive tackle, Xavier Rhodes, a second round pick, and a first, a first, and a fifth from the Jaguars. I'm getting a lot of first round picks, but it's going to be worth it in the long run to strip the team. Our right guard, Glonkowski, our punter who takes up too much cap. Jacoby Brissett, a first and a first from the Vikings. Jacoby Brissett, I know, is really good in simulation, but I just don't plan to use him just for the sake of the rebuild. Though, this is our quarterback, Jacob Eason, who the Colts just drafted, 69 overall. 69 overall, as Bengal would say it, nice. I'm not going to steal that from him, because I do watch Bengal's channel. So... You guys should go check that out, even though none of you probably know who that is because none of you probably know who I am. Though, anyways, it is time to get into the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are three and four. If I can move my stick, okay. And we are third in the division. So, not too good, but we do have some contracts to get into, such as our left tackle, who is 31, and left tackles are the second highest paid position in the NFL. So two years, I'll be comfortable with that. And he accepts it right off the bat. Zach Pascal, um, you want a little bit too much for your overall and development. So I don't think I'm going to re-sign you unless you go up. There's a lot of rookies here that aren't supposed to be here. So I need to change that off camera. So other than that, it is time to get into the playoffs. Now, we did not make the playoffs, not a surprise, because I did strip the team. We finished 7-9, and nine, which isn't a good record. Usually, I want to finish like 4-12 and 12 in the first season, but Jacob Eason with 5th in the NFL for passing yards, 6 for passing touchdowns. We did good on offense and okay on defense. 
Jacob Eason is going to be the quarterback of the future for us because that was just an amazing season. I was planning on drafting another quarterback for the sake of Madden terms. But uh, yeah, Marlon Mack had an okay season. Zach Pascal had over 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns. He had an amazing season. So it looks like we're going to have to re-sign him. Defensively, Isaiah Rogers with the most tackles. Tackles for a loss goes to Kimo Ture. DeForest Buckner with 10 sacks. Interceptions, 5 for Bobby. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, safeties, 0. Defensive touchdowns, 0. Though, other than that, it is time to get into the offseason. Now in the offseason, as you can see, Zach Pascal here did get a development upgrade superstar with 78 overall, but he still wants the same contract, so I'm going to bump up the years, bump the, the salary to make sure we get him, and boom, we got a great superstar receiver for a pretty cheap price considering that he just wanted a little bit of money earlier in the season since he was only like a low development and low overall. So overall, that's a really good pickup and pretty cheap. So anyone else here that I want, and Jacob Eason does have a development upgrade, not development, I meant XP upgrade, just going to go with Field General because that's his top one to increase his mm -hmm. overall. And other than that, looks like we don't really need too much, but this is what the team looks like before going into free agency. Going to up, going to move uh, Paris Campbell up, D-line needs help and secondary needs help especially cornerbacks but uh other than that it is time to get into some free agency after the free agency you already see the big difference here derrick henry at running back which is insane uh i'm really excited for that that was a little bit surprising to see him there and on defense we picked up Eli Apple and Levi Wallace, just depth cornerbacks. They were both really cheap, both of under 500k salary per year. So other than that, it is time to get into the draft. Not sim 10 years, don't do that. The draft, there we go. Uh, for our first pick at number five, we picked Lincoln Wilbur. And 77 overall, superstar development, pretty good. Along with Harvey Claiborne. 77 overall with hidden development number three in the class. Picked him at 15. And this is what the team looks like after the draft. As you can see, we picked up a right guard there as well. O-line looks absolutely amazing. And I did pick up a left tackle, so I will be trading the left tackle that we did just resign because he regressed a little bit faster than I thought he would. Both our outside linebacker problems are fixed, and we did get another cornerback. So anyways... Onto a trade. For the first trade, obviously, our left tackle Marlon Mack, a fourth for the projected first pick in the draft from the Dolphins. Marlon Mack is coming into a contract year, and I won't be resigning him. And other than that, we are here at the midseason mark. Quite the jump, but other than that, we are three, three, and one. Third in the division, not ideal. Not amazing, so I guess Jacob Eason really isn't putting up that many. We have Ryan Fitzpatrick here as our second string. T.Y. Hilton is a big name that we do need to re-sign. 30 years old, I'm still going to re-sign him because he's still an X-Factor. He wants more money, so salary and bonus both needs to be improved. Our center, Ryan Kelly, wants to re-sign, and he is back. Jonathan Taylor is here. His contract is not... I need to do that off camera. I don't know why all these contracts are screwed up. They're supposed to be four years length, not like one year or two year. So the rosters obviously weren't made right. But other than that, it is time to get into the playoffs. As we did not make the playoffs. That's pretty disappointing after a loss of the Browns finishing third in the division, seven, eight, and one. 20th and 18th. Offense finished 25th, which is terrible, and defense was 14th, which is solid. Derrick Henry really isn't having that good of seasons. Thought he would be doing a lot better than this. T.Y. Hilton had a solid season. Defensively, Darius Leonard with the most tackles. Tackles for a loss goes to, to DeForest Buckner. Sacks goes to Harvey Claiborne, the rookie. Interceptions goes to Darius Leonard with two. Safeties, zero. Defensive touchdowns, zero. Other than that, it is time to get into the offseason, which I don't even know what we're going to do with Jacob Eason. Maybe we draft a quarterback, maybe we don't. But anyways, into the offseason. 
Now into the offseason, we still have T.Y. Hilton to resign here. Ryan Fitzpatrick is down to a 62. That was quite the drop. Um, T.Y. Hilton, we're just going to bump up the money a lot. And he is happy to resign, and he stays. Anthony Walker Jr., not really interested. Everyone else here, not really interested as well. Roosevelt Knicks are fullback. He's cheap, but we don't need him, even though he's a captain. I don't know why he's a captain. Um, other than that, this is what the team looks like right before free agency. Ryan Fitzpatrick, obviously here, but about to not be here. Pascal... Defensive line looks good. Our outside linebackers have star development as DeForest Buckner is a superstar. And our cornerback has superstar development as well. Aldrich Rosas, uh, kicker. Rosas, not Rosas. My bad. Anyways, we on to free agency. And in free agency, we have a lot of cap room. But everyone here, I'm not just, I'm not really interested in anyone here. So I'm not going to take anybody. I know that sounds a little bit insane with Keanu Neal there, but I'm just not interested in anybody, and I'll just get into the draft. Now, after the draft, this is what the team looks like, as we did pick up a tight end in the first round, but that was just best player available. There was really no one there, so he's apparently a first-round fullback, and we did pick up a middle linebacker and, out, and a right end and a cornerback. So, overall, great draft, and it is time to get into the midseason mark. Now at the midseason mark for season 2021, four and three at the top of the division. That's great. We have Quentin Nelson to resign, who obviously we will want back. 25 years old, probably the best guard in the NFL. Maybe people could debate Zach Martin, but I don't think so. Uh, he wants more salary. DeForest Buckner is also here. We're obviously going to resign him. And he wants to stay. So he resigns. Darius Leonard is here want him as well a lot of big names coming up he wants more salary brandon smith also here right tackle he doesn't want that much for a right tackle so i'll easily resign him he wants more salary though malik hooker also here there's a lot more names than i thought there would be here he resigns trey burton don't really want him to keem hines don't want him to ray i don't want him either keem hines depending on what He's rotational, sure. I don't care. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, Cam Anchors isn't even supposed to be here. I don't, even sh I don't even think I pronounced his name last name right. But other than that, it is time to get into the playoffs. Now at the playoffs, making the wild card at 9-6-1, facing the 8-8 Bengals, coming off a loss 35-14 to the Texans, winning the division. Now stats, Jacob Eason was okay. Offense was middle of the road. Defense was almost middle of the road, finishing at 13th. Jacob Eason turned the ball over a little bit too much. Derrick Henry didn't even have over 1,000 yards, but had 14 touchdowns. T.Y. Hilton was eh. And defensively, Darius Leonard, most tackles, most tackles for a loss, goes to Harvey Claiborne. Sacks goes to Xavier McKee with 12. Interceptions goes to Dante E. Wing. With two safeties, one, and defensive touchdown, zero. And other than that, I'm just going to sim the Bengals game because it's a wild card. It's not really, it's nothing too important, but this is the team going into the Bengals game. No real development changes other than you can see Xavier McKee, McGee, not McKee, McGee has superstar development. Though, other than that, let's see if we can beat the eight and eight. Bengals to advance to the divisional round and we do not finishing with a loss 31 to 14 but it's time to get into the offseason into the offseason the last offseason we will see for this rebuild we have players to resign but uh Nakeem Hines mm, uh, I, I don't know what I'm saying here I'm just going ooh and ah I sound like an idiot, but rotational, sure, he would like to play for a new team, franchise tag, I'm not tagging you for 13 mil, so other than that, it is time to get into free agency, after free agency, this is what the team looks like, as you can see, we got Jordan Howard as a rotational back, because Nakeem Hines left, Byron Jones is here, and 
we got another cornerback and the biggest difference jjy as you can see 96 overall x factor and it's time to get into some trades right before the draft and right before the draft as you can see i was going to get into some trades as we trade a rotational middle linebacker for evan ingram from the giants straight up so this is what the team looks like right before the draft or after the draft actually as you can see evan ingram is here because we did need tight end desperately for the last season going into it. And everything looks pretty good. Byron Jones, a superstar cornerback, E-Wing, and Rocky Sin at free safety. Everything's perfect for us to be set up and win. I don't think win the Super Bowl because this team doesn't look that good with Jacob Eason at quarterback. But overall, 88 overall is pretty good. It is time to get to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are 5-2. and two. That is exactly what I wanted to see. And we are top of the division. Which is really great. Because I actually want to win. And we, I don't need to resign any of these players. Because this is the last season that I'm doing. Including we'd be screwed on cap room. So I don't really care. So again, other than that, time to get into the playoffs. And in the playoffs, we were facing the 10 and 6 Bengals as we finished 9 and 7. And we were the leader in our division, very crummy division. But stats, Jacob Eason was again all right. Offense was all right. Defense was top 10, finishing 7th. Jacob Eason still double digit turnovers. Derrick Henry, good amount of yards. Zach Pascal had a great season. Darius Leonard with the most tackles, tackles for a loss, goes to J.J. Watt at 17, sacks goes to J.J. Watt at 12, interceptions goes to Byron Jones with two, safeties one for Wills, and defensive touchdowns zero. Other than that, let's see if we can beat the Bengals who beat us in the 2020 season and advance to the divisional round. Will we do that? We do not. Okay. Um that kind of sucks. Losing 28 to 21. That's a that's a real bummer. Though anyways, that is going to do it for this rebuild. I know it was a very short episode, only 18 minutes long. Nothing insane. I know you guys are probably wondering, how do you know it's 18 minutes long cuz this part is pre-recorded after the video not pre-recorded, post-recorded, and the Chiefs and Saints are in the Super Bowl. Let's see if we have any development upgrades. Not really, but this is this was overall a great team with a good offensive line, good receivers, great running back. Great running back. I think it's Madden Sim is solely based really on playbook and running back, and I think quarterback, and that's really about it. And edge rushers on your team. Though, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see y'all in the next video.